Is she ruthless, cunning, dishonest? It's a one-sided and highly critical look at the life and politics of Hillary Clinton. She was the first First Lady to come under criminal investigation. But very few people had even heard of Hillary the movie until last year when the U.S. government banned the film and its ads from airing on TV. You thought what? I said, how is this possible? Lead producer David Bossi, a conservative political activist, was told by the Federal Election Commission his ads were a form of electioneering communication. Wait till you see the movie. And because Hillary Clinton was then running for president, the ads were banned by law within 30 days of a primary. It was a political statement, though, during a primary season. But that's the essence of the First Amendment. Bossie's claim that the ban violated his First Amendment rights has become one of the most important free speech cases ever. Is it legal to restrict corporate spending on political campaigns? This is a huge case for democracy. Fred Wertheimer, an activist for campaign reform, calls this case momentous because David Bossie's advocacy group, Citizens United, is a corporation. And if companies have the same free speech rights as individuals, he says, then all of the laws that limit corporate spending on politics are on the line. This case is now about whether the immense wealth of corporations in America can be spent to elect or defeat candidates. Bussey describes the issue more simply. Is political speech free or not? I'm asking for the right to be able to be heard, the right to have free speech, truly free speech. Wednesday's unusual court session is also the first for the court's new justice, Sonia Sotomayor, and she'll be stepping right into a controversy both sides now agree is as big as it gets. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News at the Supreme Court.